The tenth offense against the holy name of the Lord is to not have complete faith in the chanting of the holy name and to maintain mental attachments, even after understanding so many instructions from the scriptures. So this mental attachment is called as the hard knot uh, in the heart of the conditioned soul. So just as if a man is tied with a rope and you put a thick knot, he cannot escape. He cannot get, relieve himself uh, and he can't do any activity. He is stuck in that. So Srila Bhaktis Dhansar Thakur gave the example of the wedding party. Uh, the wedding party was sitting in a boat in the night and the rope was anchored to the bank of the, ri- bank of the river. And although the boatman was rowing the boat, the wedding party was not getting ahead. Whole night it was in the same place. Next day, early morning when the sun rose in the east, all the wedding party people saw that we are still in the same place where we started. They scolded the boatman that you did not endeavor, probably you slept off. He said, whole night I worked hard. He said, the problem was the anchor was not removed. In the same manner, uh, the vital attachment uh, keeps the living entity stuck in material platform and does not allow one to advance. Now, what is this mental attachment we were discussing in the previous talk? Uh, The living entity wants comfort uh, in the sense of touch. In the Bhagavad Gita, you will see, Here, in this verse, Lord Krishna says, Samsparshaja Bhoga. Uh, the, those pleasures which are born by contact of the senses and the sense objects are verily the sources of pain and and one cannot, uh, one who is intelligent does not delight in them, he says. For example, katutvam, mridutvam. Katutvam means hard. Mridutvam means soft. Shitatvam, ushnatvam. Shita means cold, ushna means heat. So the living entity is always curious when there is a winter, how to get rid of Shitatva and increase the Ushna. And when it is uh, summer season, how to get rid of Ushnatva and go for Shita, make it cold. Similarly, if you have to sit on a hard uh, surface, you want Mridutva, so you uh, go for buying a cushion, huh? isn't it? So you will always see that the living beings are working hard to uh, make their bed comfortable, their home comfortable, their car comfortable, their eatables comfortable, their uh, contact with the opposite sex more beautiful and more comfortable. And in this way, they want to do these things by increasing their bank balance. And when they work hard for this, the whole life goes on in this game. And one remains stuck on the material plane. One has no time for spirituality. So, the nature of material attachments is uh, that it simultaneously gives you pleasure and pain. Uh, it will give you little pleasure, little pain. Therefore, Prahlad Maharaj told his father, Tat sadhu manye asaravarya dehinam Tada samud vigna diyama sadgrahat Hetpatma patam grihamanda kupam Vanam gato yad harima shriyeta He says, uh, sada samudvigna diyam asat grahat. Asat means matter. Grahat means to hold on to. To hold on to these material things in this world uh, and become attached to them causes sada samudvigna. It causes stress and tension. So much of stress, so much of tension the living being takes to accumulate material goods, maintain material goods, fight with the material world around. Huh? So it's a very painful process. And we are not left without solution. The next verse he says solution. There are one category of human beings called as Nishkinchan. Nishkinchan means they live in the material world but they have no attachment to matter. But they have attachment to Krishna like Srila Prabhupada. Prabhupada was in America with so many comforts all around, but he was not attached to the comforts. 
he was attached to Krishna. If one can get the dust particles from the lotus feet of such Mahat devotees, and one should do Abhishekam, he said. And by that Abhishekam, one will get rid of these metal attachments. Otherwise, the metal attachments become a rope around your body, and they put a tight knot. And this knot cannot be slackened by yourself. So, what is the proof that we are bound by the material ropes? You will find difficulty in practicing spiritual principles. Rising early in the morning, chanting the holy name on time, uh, reading the Srimad Bhagavatam, rendering services. One will find difficulty in doing all these things. It will be very troublesome to do these things. On the other hand, the material activities will become very enjoyable. Uh, going for outing, going for party, going for a uh, movie, you know, going into social media, that will be very enjoyable. That is the proof that we are materially bound. So our tastes and our activities are a proof uh, whether we are materially stuck or spiritually alert. So the daily morning program of chanting of the holy name, uh, it actually slackens this knot of material attachment. If one is, because we are praying to Krishna, that Krishna, I cannot relieve myself of this material knot. It is tightly binding me and I am stuck on the material platform. Please lift me up. Uh, relieve me of these ropes. That's why he says, Vidyate Krutaya Granthis Chidhyante Sarva Samshayaha Shriyante Chasya Karmani Drishtaye Vatmani Ishwari. When we know the Atmani and Ishwar, when we know the soul and God and the loving relationship, and then we can begin chanting the holy name with the correct understanding, and gradually as the mind and heart are purified, the knot can be uh, slackened and we can get some freedom to gradually rise above the material plane and not remain stuck. So, Prachana Parishad was stuck on a material platform of doing Karmakanda sacrifices for material pleasure. But Narada spoke to him and then he became relieved and he went to forest and he became Vanaprastha and then he became perfected in his life. There are many examples like this. You can see that. Dhritarashtra was stuck on a material plane attached to the material facilities at home in the palace. Rudra preached to him and then he also took to Anaprasa and perfected his life. So there are innumerable examples in the Srimad Bhagavatam. So <clears throat> all of us in our life also we should remember, life is short, time is precious, our body will run out of fuel, a day will come when we will be answerable to God and the day of death, how we spent our time in this life. So one should not be charmed by the glitter and glamour of this material existence, which is here today, gone tomorrow. It will not here be with us always. On the other hand, we should hold on to the chanting of the holy name, study of the Srimad Bhagavatam, association of devotees, worship of the deities. These are permanent reality, unchangeable reality, eternal realities. And then we can easily slacken the knot of material attachment and uh, rise above uh, by our shelter at the lotus feet of Krishna. Ayinanda Tanuja Kinkaram Patitam maam vishame bavam budau kripaya tava pada pankajas titadhuli sadrisham vichintaya. Oh, my dear son of Nanda Krishna, some or other have fallen into this ocean of birth and death. Please pick me up from this ocean of death and place me at your lotus feet as one of the millions of atoms, uh, one of the millions of devotees who are serving you in the spiritual world. Accept me as one of your devotees. So, this is the mood in which the chanting of the holy name is done. Harinam Prabhu Ki, let us offer our humble obeisances unto all the Vaishnava devotees of the Lord who are just like desert trees, for ocean of mercy, full of compassion for the fallen conditioned souls. Pancha Kalpatarubhyas Chakrupa Sindhubhya Yevacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vrinda Ki Vaishnava Thakur Srila Prabhupada Ki Namacharya Haridas Thakur ki